Well, there are still so many myths out there about the menstrual cycle, so many mysterious things that people have hung on to for many years that are, in fact, myths. So let's talk about just a few of them. And Okay, myth number one, you can't get pregnant during your period. Just like another myth, this is a different, but when you are breastfeeding, people think you can't get pregnant, and you can at that time as well. But regarding not getting pregnant or getting pregnant during your menstrual cycle, you can because sperm can live up to five days or so in the body. And if you have a short menstrual cycle, ovulation can occur sooner than expected, sooner than at an unpredictable time. And there's the sperm and there's ovulation and, you know, things can happen. Myth number two is that exercise is not good for you if you are on your menstrual cycle. But research has actually shown that light to moderate stretching, yoga, walking is actually beneficial and helps release endorphins and make somebody feel better, not worse. So unless you're feeling personally unwell, it is okay to have light to moderate exercise during the menstrual cycle. Myth number three is really interesting to me because it says that research has shown that women lose on average 30 to 40 milliliters of blood during their whole period that month. And that 80 milliliters and above is considered a very heavy flow. So the myth that women lose a lot of blood during their menstrual cycle Evidence has shown that it is not a lot of blood, but that doesn't mean that you're not experiencing a lot of pain, cramps, backache, headache, migraines, fatigue. It doesn't matter really how much blood you're losing. It's just that the myth about women nearly hemorrhaging or a lot of women saying they're hemorrhaging, some have heavy flows and I'm not saying they don't, but that's often for a different reason, such as endometriosis, fibroids, tumors, other medical conditions. What the providers say is that if a woman is soaking through one tampon or one pad per hour, or if within a couple hours there are clots the size of a quarter or more, and it's experienced with a lot of with this heavy flow, then you need to seek medical attention. But I want to show you what is claimed to be the average menstrual flow per four to six day cycle during that month. So if it's three to 40 milliliters, I put 35 milliliters in here and I'm gonna show you what is being told to us that we lose an entire menstrual cycle. Does that seem right to you? <laughs> is it just because mine were heavy and I didn't know it? Uh, boy, that doesn't seem like very much, does it? Here's 35 milliliters or cc's of colored water that I measured out. And like I said, this would be what's considered average for women. This little bit here sure causes a lot of problems, doesn't it? What is menstrual fluid? It is a combination of mucus, blood, tissue lining, cells. So when you um, are shedding the internal lining of your uterus at that time, the fluid that's coming out is a combination of those things. I'm going to put a picture up of what an average amount looks like in a menstrual cycle, which is 30 to 40 milliliters. Here's 35. And then I'm going to show you what's considered a heavy 80 milliliters and above is considered a heavy flow. And I'll show you the pictures just for comparison. Okay, so let's look at our paper here. It says, cycle is an average of six days. Here is the average menstrual flow of tissue, cells, mucus, blood, and it is approximately 30 to 40 milliliters. I've got 35 in here. The next one is considered a heavy flow at 80 milliliters or cc's. And this one is considered a very heavy flow, which is 100 milliliters or more. when you should seek advice from your healthcare provider regarding your periods. Periods that last more than eight days, you need to change your tampon or pad more than one every one to two hours. Blood clots that are as big as or bigger than the size of a quarter or about an inch. You need to double up on period products because of the heavy bleeding. You have a menstrual flow that is so heavy that it keeps you from doing the things you would normally do, such as going to school or going to work. You're dizzy, faint, lack energy, or actually faint and or become short of breath. An average normal menstrual cycle on the calendar is anywhere between 21 and 35 days. 
that is how it is worldwide. What can change that would be nutrition, access to care. There might be other medical, underlying medical conditions that are going on. Let's talk just for a second. I want to list a few things that are related to our menstrual cycle that it would be beneficial to see a healthcare provider for, and that would be dysmenorrhea or severe period pain. Often it's due to endometriosis. Now this is something that I had, um, and I didn't know I had it until I had surgery many years later, but I was 11 years old when I had my very first period. My mom knew nothing about tampons, and she sent me to sixth grade camp with my period. I had no idea how to hide it, what to do with those big bulky pads. I was an 11 year old child. So how about you guys? When was your period? Um, I'm seeing that it is changing as time goes on. Amenorrhea is the absence of periods. And we often hear about that for ladies who are marathon runners, athletes, and there are other medical conditions that can cause this. PMDD is premenstrual dysphoric disorder. It is a severe, um, behavioral health condition that occurs relating to, I don't want to see on, say on the menstrual cycle because it can be prior to, during, or after, but it is a severe form of PMS. The most widespread medical issue related to periods is heavy bleeding, often associated with clots or extreme pain. Those are the conditions that interrupt quality of life. They need to be addressed with your primary health provider or OBGYN doctor. I have friends who've had hysterectomies based on those factors because it has interrupted their quality of life for so many years every single month. Remember, your period is a vital sign of your health. So if something feels off, if you have exceptionally heavy bleeding, clots, discomfort, pain, severe PMS, don't suffer. Don't suffer in silence. Go see your medical provider. Please like, share, subscribe if you would like to hear more health content. Have a good day.